Hi guys, welcome to the next video. So today I want to talk about Laura Geller. I got a palette from QVC, my first ever QVC purchase, and it's the best of the best. Now it has sold out on QVC, but I have found it since on Laura Geller's um, website for the for UK, um, and it's £44, but I want to show you what you get. So Laura Geller was renowned um, in the very beginning, way back in the 90s, for her baked and bronze, bronze foundation. So that's what it looks like. Um, it's really light. Um, it was like a holy grail, I think, when she first came out with it because all of the pigments, you can do different things with it. Really, really easy to blend. They really do um, feel amazing on the skin. So what I wanted to do is go through the entire palette with you. So what I've done is I have put on my foundation, which is the Charlotte Tilbury, and this is the Flawless Foundation. And then I've just popped on my concealer, which is the e.l.f. Concealer and the hydrating one and I've defined my brows just really natural with the elf and um, precision pencil precision pencil So I've gotten her baked and bronzed. It is handcrafted in Italy um, There's kind of a baking technology that it's color correcting and um, it has a it is a matte foundation It goes on matte and um, it goes on slightly powdery But then it kind of blends into a creamy texture very pigmented and it's very long-lasting So you've got French vanilla here, too. So I'm going to just turn the palette so you can see it I'm so excited you also get a mirror to a full length mirror. So these are her um her eyeshadows. So the first one here that we look at is French vanilla, a baked highlighter, um, and it's kind of like the areas that you want to bring attention to. So under the brow, again, it's baked by artisans in Italy, it's baked on terracotta tiles. So then you have um her blush here. I want to make sure I'm going on the right side. So this is the blush. This is called buttercream, it's baked, and like it is. Wonder, I was wondering because I did really research all these individual things and I didn't want to pay because that's the thing you would pay about £32 for this on its own um, so I have saved a bunch here because um, the palettes if you can get them for Laura Geller you really are getting um, quality so the blush again is called buttercream and the reason I got it is because obviously I'm a makeup artist but also the real the thing that really drew, drew me to it is that it is um for all skin types now it has a goldy bronze there you can see a little bit of soft pink and rose so what i always do is i start from the inner ear with blush and then i go right to the center into the cheeks and um, because i think we all focus on bl on bronzer it's the first thing we do is we focus on bronzer when we look paler but sometimes we get a little bit scared to go in with the blush um, and i think this is just beautiful again guys if you always wanted to do something with laura geller um, but you were looking at actually that's really pricey for just the bronze bronzer she does have this up for 44 pounds on her website which i will link below i was originally going to um, link the qvc but it's sold out it's completely sold out now now i will go into her eyeshadows as well so she's got al almond here which is a really deep blue brown color she's got oyster and then you kind of have this like um this is called substance here with the kind of um the goldishy glow to it so we're going to get into that. So the first thing I wanted to do is talk about the bronzer. Where can you put it? Anywhere, really. This is great that we have a palette. But if you look at Laura Geller individually talking about these products, obviously, apart from the eyeshadows, um, all of these can be used as a highlighter a bronzer. Um, and I will show you why. So I've got medium. This is the Baked Bronze and Brighten it. And I got medium because I am, am that skin tone. They do porcelain. They do a lot. The variations are amazing. She does have a picture um, on her website of the different skin tones. And you can kind of have a look and know yourself um, what kind of um, colour would suit you best. Now, I have started to go back to Charlotte Tilbury in terms of foundation. I am getting a little bit paler now that the summer is over. We're coming into autumn, winter. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to get my um, fluffy brush. This is just the um, one I always use just for putting powder or bronzer on. Um, and it's from a just a random um, website um, I got for kind of basic generic um, brushes because I sometimes use um, real techniques, things like that. But I've actually started to kind of look at e.l.f. as well, but they're being cleaned at the minute. So this is a really nice, soft, brisk brush. Just So what I'm going to do is, if I just show you, is I'm going to swirl that really gently. I'll just show you there. So we're going to just swirl that, just swirl it around, really getting into the areas. Now, if you only wanted a certain colour, so if you wanted to say, like, you, wanted, you have this on its own and you don't have the other colours, you see this little pink here? You could absolutely use that as a... Um, a blush there's little white pigments in there you could use as a highlight so what we're going to do is we're just going to go around the areas that we would put our bronzer naturally so you can see i just had foundation on today concealer and my brows done so i'm going to start at the top and i'm just gonna 
swirl that and it's beautiful it's beautiful it's coming on lightly now what i did use as well is i'm starting to use my queso at night but i'm also use, mixing it in um with my moisturizer and i've been using queso excellent oil as a primer as well which is just giving a sheen as you can see to my to my skin today so we're just gonna again this starts out as a liquid in italy she's baked it in italy she um so i'm bringing that down guys and just under as well so if you can see we really are getting that sun kiss glow um i think my excellent oil is kind of benefiting benefiting it a little bit because these um baked um products did actually start out as liquids so i think you're not losing the hydration basically so we're just going to bring that around and down a little now you could use it as a bronzer or as a contour um and i'm just going to bring that down there i'm not going to go for the top of the cheeks to the eye because that's where we're going to put the um high uh, the, the blush so that's what we're doing I think it's really just the color um, is really helping in terms of not looking so um, strong because I can see when I look in the mirror, I'm looking on camera, it's not looking too dark or orangey in any place. So for example, I don't have any makeup here or obviously you can see today, you can see my arms, um, my tan, my natural color, it's not looking too, um, not looking unnatural. And that's what we want. We want to look fresh, but we don't want to look like we have makeup on. Um, so I'm really, really happy with that. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go in with our blush. So this is the buttercream. Here we are. Um, and it is baked also. So they're all baked. This could be gold. Um, it's kind of got that gold, soft, pink, rose, bronzy look to it. So again, I'm going to start from the inner ear and I'm going to go out. So I'm using my, just my cheeks. It's just from the, the cheeks brush set. And I'm going to go in again. We're going to show you how we go right in there. So you can see here what I'm doing. I'm going to swirl that around. But the the kind of shape of this brush is really good because it kind of goes in at an angle. It's not going to take over anything. And then we're going to go into the center. So here we go. Again, this is for all skin types, which I really, really like. So we're going to go in here. We're going to start here, as you can see. And we're going to kind of bring that to the cheeks. And it hasn't taken over anything. So that's what we like. So we're just going to brush that in there. And don't be afraid to bring it in. Again, I do think a lot of the time we do, we are a little kind of um, scared in terms of um, putting on bronzer and um, blush together. But if you do feel buttercream is a little bit um, too much, you can also always, in any kind of makeup, it doesn't have to be this is at all, kind of tone that down. On camera, it looks absolute. Here in the mirror, it's looking fine. It is slightly looking a little bit more stronger on camera. But what I will do up here is put on the pictures just so you can see. Actually, it's not looking that strong, but you can definitely see a freshness, which is what we want. So I'm really liking that. I haven't taken over any areas that the highlight will go into. So we're going to put the blush again. We're going to swirl our brush in there. And I'm going from the top of the ear, basically, and we're just really lightly putting that on and you can see it isn't taking any over anything but again I will show you what to do if you do feel that it's a little bit much just dab and again I haven't taken over the highlighting area that we're going to do so this is the um so let's go from this side so you can see so we have two here. So this is called Baked Original Highlighter and then you've got French Vanilla here. So they are really, really good. I'm going to swatch them individually for you. So let's, they're so soft and creamy. And that's what we're looking at there. So this one here is the French Vanilla and this one here is the Baked Almond. So let's go, I might go into Baked Almond a little bit for you, a little bit better. So here we go, Baked Almond and French Vanilla. And that's what you see there. So you do have a warmer texture here. Then you've got that gorgeous brightening effect. Now, you're, if you're wondering, are these super glowy or glittery? No, none of these are glittery. They definitely see the color. You can definitely see you've got your strength and your colors, but there is no glitter or flashback. There's no glitter at all. So you can wear it at work, you can wear it in school, uni, you can just wear it every day. And sometimes you can blend them in together themselves and you can see there how it's given that warmth but the, the kind of um 
original highlighter, which is the French Vanilla, has calmed down that tone as well if you didn't want to go so strong. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use my um, Bella and Bear Pompous Cat Brush, um, if I can find it here, um, and we are going to go in with the French Vanilla um, because I really love it. And I think against the strength of everything else today, I think this particular highlight would be gorgeous. So let's swatch that first for you again before we put it on. So this is what it looks like. Um, again, let's do a quick swatch. I'm loving playing with these colours, absolutely loving them. So I'm going to just take some of that at the top and we're just going to put that highlight. I'm going to start in the inner corners of the eyes. Let's just get in here. Inner corners of the eyes, bringing it right here, swirling motions. Again, here. You can see that's what it looks like on the brush, and I'm really just gently placing that. And then what we're going to do is bring that down the nose, but focus more on the bridge. And what I can see is that there's a glow, but it looks natural and it looks healthy. It looks absolutely beautiful. It really does. Um, this is going to last me a very long time. They actually go down. Those, those, um, that blush actually goes down right to the thickness of this um, box itself. So sometimes you'll get blushes for our bronzers, for example. This is one um, that I've picked up. It's the um, Bronze Glow in Suspect from Primark. And you can see what I mean. It's a beautiful bronze bronzer, but if I show you what I mean, it's flat. It's not going to it's not going to last as long as something like this. You're also going to get the benefit of the swirl effect that you can go into. Like I said before, if you don't have the bronzer or the highlighter, the fact that there are so many colors in there, you see that white stripe? You could absolutely use that similarly to the baked vanilla. You can see the pink down here. You could certainly use that as a blush. So if you wanted to get a compact just with this alone, you could effectively get all of these, all of the face -ish, um, products by the eye eyeshadow. Um, again, you could actually go in with the pink or white eyeshadow too. You can do, kind of mix and match what you want to do. Um, but I would really recommend this before I... Basically, what I was saying just to finish that off is that this is an amazing... Um, really kind of reasonable priced it's a pound as you can see from primark but the benefit you're going to get with this is that this can be a blush it can be a highlight it can be a bronzer so if you don't want to get all of these but i will say if you do want to get them for yourself or as a gift all of this is 44 pounds this alone would probably be 38 pounds so i mean it's a gorgeous mirror too you've got a full length mirror but also it's gorgeous packaging, so if you're traveling now, you've got everything, bar, mascara, and lipstick um, that you could possibly want, um, and really good quality. It's not gonna break you out. This is really good quality. They are make baked for six months in Italy, so they're liquid form. Then when they're turned into a, a baked product, then they go for sale, so not before then. And they, I think you can tell from the quality there, if you just go on there and have a look. So yes, yeah, so we've done our French vanilla, and that is our highlight. So basically, that was the point I was making is that this is a really good value for money, but it's flat and it's going to last you probably, depending on how much you use it, it's going to last you maybe a couple of months. Um, again, it's beautiful. But if you want to go and invest in something like um, Laurie Geller, you're going to get probably months and months and months of use, depending on when you, how much you use it. You probably get a year out of it <laughs> if you're kind of something, somebody that does kind of makeup occasion only. But you can actually tell how they actually come out of the box. You can see they're, they're kind of coming out as such. So you can definitely tell you're going to get quality um, there and also value for money. So what I'm going to do, I'm also going to use French almond because I'm a little bit, I want to play around with that a little bit. So what I'm going to do first is go in with the baked highlight in French vanilla. I'm actually going to put it under the brow. So if you're someone who says, I don't really want to put eyeshadow on today, but I want to look alive, this is going to give you that. And you can kind of just bring it over as well. It actually lifts your lid as well. It lifts, so it makes you look a little bit alive. This is all ages too. If you're 19 <laughs> right up to 99 19 to 99 this is um beautiful beautiful texture 
it's really soft going on really really soft so you can see i've gotten everything on it hasn't taken over anything um, and let's have a look at that french vanilla and what i might do is just put it a little bit on the temple so just here just above the blush i might mix them both and go down the bridge of the nose a little and I'm going to go right into French vanilla again, just for that. Now I'm loving the glow. I really am loving the glow, but it's healthy. Um, we're not seeing glitter as such. So that's what we've done. We've used our highlight, our blush and our bronzer. Again, I will say, if you didn't want to get all of this, get this. This is their original and it's what absolutely put her on the map. It's their Baked Bronze and Brighton. That is what put her on the map, basically. Um, I have researched Laura Geller for a lot of, a long time. She's been, this has all been out since 97, probably even um, before that. Um, but some of these are relatively new. And what she's done is she's put all of these palettes um, together with colours that would suit any skin tone. Now look at these eyeshadows, if we have a look there. Creamy, textury. And I think these this particular... Um, how they make this, I think blendability with eyeshadow would be amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with Sun, sorry, Sunstone, which is that kind of medium brown. And I'm going to put it in the lid. That's Sunstone. And let's just have a quick swatch. Um, okay, this is Sunstone. I'm going to just go a little bit, a little bit more, warm that up a bit on my hand, finger even. And that's Sunstone. Okay, so that lightish brown. It does look brownish in the palette, but you can see it gives you that light as well. Let's go in with Oyster, which is that glitter we saw. That's Oyster. You see, it actually brings up, um, when I put Oyster on, it actually showed up Sunstone a little bit more. And then we have that dark, and it's called Almond. Wow, so they're the three. So let's put them all together, and we're going to blend them down my arm. Let's just do a swipe there so you can see if i do sun sunstone and oyster one more time we're going to just so you can definitely see almond the dark one but i just wanted to i can see it in the mirror but i don't know if it's coming off on camera so let's do that again just double that up a bit you can see there now let's do the blending just want to see how it blends together so we wouldn't put this in necessarily in that order but they blend really nice really nice so this could be something as well in the evening with your skincare if you wouldn't sometimes i use certain products and i am using a lot more um makeup remover than i really thought i would um but i can see because of the texture because of the the makeup of what it's made of um it would be very quick to remove but also it's kind of healthy as well um, you're not going to break out from any of this, I think. So let's start. Let's do the eyeshadow. So I just have my... So what we're going to do is go in with Sunstone. So I'm going to get my... Just my flat brush, because what I want to do is I want to place it. So let's get that on the lid quickly. Really swirling it round. Picks up the colour really, really well. And we're just going to go in and just place that on the lid. And you can see it just gives that light brown, bronzy look. So I think what she's done in the palette itself for the eyeshadows, she's given you a choice of a warm, smoky eye look if you wanted to. If you didn't want to use that dark almond, you could just go in with these two and it would make you look really fresh and awake. Um, so we're going to go back in with Sunstone again, placing it, and I think with the texture of this, probably placing it on my finger and putting it on may make a little bit more difference. And it does, it certainly does. Okay. You just kind of swipe that across the eye. I'm going to do the same on this side. Swiping actually seems to be better and I think that's because the texture is so soft and lovely that maybe the brush um when it picks it up um it definitely distributes it really well but if you're looking for that gorgeous kind of glow I sometimes use my fingers and that's not just saying it for Laura Geller that's a lot of products that I do that with 
So we're just going to go across and swipe and let you look there. So what I'm going to do is I am going to set the almond just so I know where it is. So this is it here. So what I'm going to do is set it on the outside and then I'm going to use the gorgeous highlighter here and work that in. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use a place brush. So it's going to be this one here. Um, and this is just from Menage. And I'm going to get the, that um, almond on the brush. And all I'm going to do is start to follow the outer lid upwards. That is beautiful on the skin, my goodness. And then gently bring that across. I'm not going out any more than there actually is because then it just looks unnatural to your individual eye shape. So we're going to go a bit here. You can see what I've done there. So if I close my eyes and then open them again, it doesn't look, my eye kind of has that cat eye effect. It's not coming down. It's not making me look droopy. It's my natural eye lift. So where my eye basically has ended, my the end of my, the edge of my eye, I've brought it up slightly and that is going to soften when we bring it in. So let's do that on the other side. It really does help if you have a flat, small brush with not too soft bristles, a little bit of thickness in the bristles so that it doesn't distribute the powder where it doesn't need to be. So we're going to go and just follow that eye, bring it down slightly. Sometimes you can bring it down instead of up. And you can see if I look this way, it's not going down, it's not going up, it's just going right across where it should be. And we're just going to bring that right up again, not all the way, but just up. So you can see on that side and on this side, it looks even. I'm bringing that up, okay? There we go. So what we're going to do is quickly blend that, and that will give us the opportunity then to look at where the highlight needs to be. So we're just going to blend that, and it's really soft, really easy to blend. beautiful on the skin and it's so sometimes you put eyeshadows on and moving them around the skin no matter how good your skin is um, can be really really impossible and a hard task at times and I found that doing makeup sometimes on other people and um, certain eyeshadows I use um, it's so hard the, the kind of texture it goes on lovely but then you're trying to blend around and you're trying to move it and it kind of sticks in certain places and doesn't look very um, natural or nice so I'm loving the fact that they're easily blendable which is what you always want with eyeshadow you want it to be able to blend nice because you could put it on amazingly if it doesn't blend very well it's not going to look good so we're going to go this side and I'm just swirling it around not particularly making it harsh and then we're going in again here So we're just going to, sometimes you can actually put it on the brush itself if you feel it needs to be a little bit darker. And that's the brown done. So what I wanted to do the brown first was I wanted to kind of have an edge where I knew the glitter was going to go into, which is what we're going to do now. And the glitter is oyster. And this is what that looks like here. This is oyster right here. Um, and again, I'm going to use my finger because I want to place it really, really carefully so i'm going to bring in my mirror a little bit and we're going to place oyster with our hands you can kind of see now if i look down that it's It just lifts without giving that too much of like a shimmer. You see that there. You can see it literally lifts your eye shape right up. If you look here, you can see that the two colors that we have put on are there, but the added lift of the oyster, it's just lifted my eye without me doing anything. It just completely lifted it up. 
and I sometimes feel the inner glitter eyeshadow is sometimes better put on with your finger because it's more precise it's also the same um, temperature as your whole body so it actually melts it easier into the skin and we're just going to bring that down a little so you can see as I turn it kind of makes the eye kind of pop a little bit so what I'll do is I'll go into the other eye and I'll come back okay guys so I've done all of that now I've put on my NYX lengthening mascara I'm just going to put on my NYX dewy finish spray so this is just the finish spray that I'm just going to put on um now just give you one more look at these before we put on our lipstick because it's a lip duo from elf day tonight but i want to talk about quickly um so this is it guys i would highly recommend it so if you're saying i like all those colors but one or two would be good i want to fit it in my handbag get them individually if you can afford it that would be great because i understand you know you're looking at a palette here it's not something that everybody can pop in their bag um so I, I do get it from that point there's beautiful eyeshadows in here gorgeous looks you could certainly you could certainly just use that oyster and the um almond um, and just do a pure really really dark smoky eye with that and leave the brown one out um but if i would just highly recommend the almond highlighters the blush is just beautiful um I, they're, they're all beautiful but i can understand um the from the aspect of you know putting it in your handbag or just having it where you can see it easily get them individually um if you can um but this is just a really good deal 44 pounds on laura geller for the whole set you get a really good um big mirror as well um so what i would say is i would recommend it i highly would um, I love the packaging too, but the most importantly is the products and the quality. Um, and I think sometimes you do pay for quality. Um, and it is a good set. If you've never tried Laura Geller, which I hadn't, um, it's a good way to start. And you do have a whole face bar, your foundation or um, lipstick, things like that. Um, but huge thumbs up from me, basically. Let's give you one more look because I'm a little bit of addicted to it before we go. Um, so yes, that's what it looks like. Again, you can see the full length mirror, but though the camera isn't doing it justice they are beautiful beautiful um colors so yes highly recommend that um, and again you could use it all year there are autumnal colors in here too but you could certainly mix and change and actually use the blush as a eyeshadow you could use you know this as an eyeshadow i think it's really multi-purpose which is what i love about it but if you did want to just get one or two maybe the bronzer and the um, blush That'll be great too, because, and even the bronzer on its own, you can use its multi-purpose. So yes, so really enjoyed that. Really enjoyed reviewing it with you guys. Something you could even give at Christmas as gifts, um, or just buy for yourself and spoil yourself. Or tell somebody that it's something that you really want. Um, maybe give out hints there if you want it um, for your other half. Um, so yes, so this is another thing I wanted to show you. It's Elf Day Tonight, um, and you get two and this is what it looks like i think i kind of touched on it in my last video so you've got day which is this one here and that's what it looks like and then you've got night which again is that deeper maroon red color so we're going to swatch each so let's swatch the night color now they're really soft i have to be super careful so that's so soft guys on really really soft that's what that looks like so that's the night um and now let's they smell beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, like um, a vanilla. They smell a bit like vanilla. And this is the day. And let's just. And that's what you, they, they look like there together. So really gorgeous textures. Um, long lasting. I've used it a couple of times now. I sometimes mix them together. But um, I certainly think um, you could use um, night during the day too um i have and you know i've liked it um so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to use both today so i'm going to get my mirror here put it where i'm not looking too away too much from the camera um and i think this actually with the blush really suits it as well so what i'm going to do is start off with the darker one and kind of use the lighter one as a bit of an ombre effect in the center so let's use the darker one first and again you have that pointed tip so it's great when you're trying to just shape your lips as well so I'm going to bring that a little bit closer again the smell when you open it up it's just beautiful it's just that burst of vanilla so really really nice I'm going to bring that down a bit because what I don't want to do is put too much pressure and the lipstick actually comes out of the container so let's just do it here
you can see how dark that is um really strong when it comes on at first Okay, and I'm just going to fill in there the gaps. Okay, now it probably doesn't look fully done and that's, I'm doing that on purpose. Okay. So that's that, um, super dark, kind of a maroony red. What I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to go in now with the day. I'm going to use that kind of as an ombre effect. And it's just giving it a little bit more of a sheen really but they are so moisturizing they do not dry throughout the day there isn't um sometimes you can choose your day to night lipsticks this is on the elf website so there was just these two colors in particular because i was i would say if you don't like these colors go and choose some other one and um, but from what i could see and um, these were the only colors in terms of um the color range that you could choose from um so that's what that looks like so if they're not your colors or maybe Maybe you want to just get one on its own, maybe get the single lipstick, but um, it's really good to kind of keep in your bag um, if you do want to switch up your makeup throughout the day. Um, so in, I was just showing you the kind of ombre effect. If I was going to go out during the day, I would probably just use this one. It's a little bit lighter. Um, I think it suits the daytime a little bit more, but just showing you the lips and kind of what it looks like. So I am very pleased with the Laura Geller palette. Um, I do have to say, I've never had a Laura Geller um, product before, and it certainly will be one of many. Um, I think the amount of research she has done um, in her products shows. I've never seen any other makeup like it in terms of the quality. Um, I just think she does a lot of research. She's on QVC a lot, so do catch up with that. She also has her own YouTube channel. Um, and just get to know, get to know what suits you, get to know your skin, get to know your colours. Um, she researches so much that you know when you get a product you're getting a really good product um and again i have looked at her for a long time i've had her youtube channel as a subscription for a long time um i've always wanted to kind of you know try something and then when i saw this kind of i actually accidentally came across it on a qvc youtube which is the uk qvc um and it was giving this as a set you know and individually i did look up the difference kind of these two in terms of the blush and the bronze um, and they're about 32 to 38 each and you're getting everything here for 44 pounds um on laura geller's website uk it's definitely still available i think in the us on qvc um but from what i can see and i searched this morning for you guys as well hoping it was there i got this for 32 pounds 50 it's usually 50 pounds um it's not there anymore unfortunately but it is 44 so it has reduced from 50 to 44 um, and that is on the um, Laura Geller UK website um, itself. So I really hope you enjoyed, guys. There will be pictures, of course. Have a great week, the end of your week, and I'll see you soon.